Today in review this thing, we're going to put these Vortex Fury HD 5000 AB range finding binoculars to the test. So we just got this pair of Vortex Fury HD 5000 binoculars. These are their new range finding binoculars, which are pretty sweet. This is the AB, which stands for Applied Ballistics version. We're going to shoot a couple rounds so we can get the speed off of the lab radar, then create a profile within the app. Hopefully, all we have to do is arrange it with the binoculars, and then based on our load profile, it'll tell the app how many clicks we need to make. Pretty excited to put this thing to the test and see if they actually work like they're supposed to. Let's get started. All right, so today we're going to be using the Bergara Crest in 6.5 PRC. We've done several videos on it already. We've got the Vortex Razor HD LHT 3 to 15 by 42 scope on here, a Dead Air Nomad, and we're going to be shooting these Pendleton custom loads. These are loaded with Hornady 143 grain ELDX. This setup has done really well so far. The furthest I've shot it is 200. We're hoping at those further distances we're going to have equally great results. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go top right. Oh, it went off. Oh, it hit over in It hit dirt, for sure. clicks. Okay, we moved the scope down a couple of clicks. Hopefully that'll put it almost right in the middle. We're able to collect some speed, so hopefully our profile will be dead on. Okay, so we used the binoculars, ranged it, synced it with the app. So now, if you range the 300 yard target. So we should go up 2.18 MOA. So we went up nine clicks on the scope. Pretty much no wind today, so hopefully it's not going to affect us left and right very much. Before we shoot this thing at 300 yards, write a little note. When you finish watching this video, head over to ReviewThisThingTV.com. Subscribe to our newsletter so you'll get weekly updates. You don't want to miss it, so do that. So let's shoot it at 300 and see how close this app and these binoculars are to center and how close I can shoot the center. Boom. Well, there you go. So up and down, dead center. I'm off an inch or so right. Obviously could be me, probably is me. Pretty doggone cool. Now let's range it out to our next target, which is around 400 and see where we are there. It says to go up 4.86 MOA. We'd already gone up that two and a quarter. So we just went up another two and a half to get us to uh, that 4.75. Theory, it may be a tiny bit low. We shall see. We're gonna go dead center again. Well, that one was, I mean, pretty well perfect up and down. Let's just see if we can get two perfect up and down. I would say so. Those things are almost touching at 400 yards. This app and these binoculars are pretty sweet. Okay, our last one, I think it's about 450, but let's range it according to the app. We need to go up a total of 6.06, .06, so we went up five more clicks from 4.75 to 6, dead center. Let's see what happens. So that one's quite a bit lower. So according to our lab radar, that particular load was quite a bit slower than the ones we've been getting to. Shoot another one. That one's quite a bit higher. Hmm. It's touching that top one. Yeah. So we wanted to try something. We went all the way back to our 200 yard zero. It said six in my way, so we went up 24 clicks. We're gonna shoot it again at that 450 yard target and see. Because those last two shots were touching. They were just four or five inches higher than they should be. So let's see where this one hits. That one is almost perfect up and down. I didn't take a picture where it ended up before, but I would assume it's about the same spot. Let's do another one. Still good up and down. That one was a little left. Anytime it's like that, I figure it's 
something I did. Well, the first one of those two was cold bore. When we're hunting, obviously the gun is gonna be cold that first shot, so that's the one we're worried about. But that's pretty doggone cool. Just for fun, we're gonna see if I can hit this gong out at 450. Pow! Dead gong. <laughs> that's pretty cool. At three, four, and 450, Pretty well dead on up and down based on the ballistics that the app figured out. Makes it a lot easier, a lot less thinking. Range it, change it, kill it. Hey, thanks for watching our Vortex Fury HD 5000 AB laser rangefinder binocular test video. While you're here, watch a whole bunch of other videos. Give us a thumbs up, comment, share. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest. Check out our Amazon storefront and subscribe to our newsletter at Review This Thing TV dot com